Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International with me, Keith Johnston. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, issued Edict 33 of 2018, replacing two of the Bahrain Tourism and Exhibitions Authority, the BTEA, board members, Bahrain Commerce of Commerce and BCCI's first deputy chairman, and the Association of Travel and Tourism Agencies chairman. Both have been replaced by the chairman of the BCCI's tourism sector and the chairman of BCCI's exhibitions committee as members of the BTEA board of directors to complete the term of the predecessors with immediate effect and to be published in the official gazette. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today at the Palace the UK Minister of State for the Armed Forces, Mark Lancaster, and the accompanying delegation. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister affirmed the importance of cooperation between peace-promoting countries to enhance security and stability and end conflicts and tensions in the world, expressing Bahrain's aspiration for strong cooperation between countries. His Royal Highness stressed that Bahrain shares with the United Kingdom the belief that security and development are interrelated highlighting the expansion of fields of cooperation between the two countries. The Prime Minister welcomed the development of cooperation of the Bahraini-UK relations. The Minister of State hailed the wisdom of His Royal Highness regarding various situations and developments. During the meeting, His Royal Highness expressed pleasure with the course of relations between the two kingdoms and the bilateral coordination they witness, which reflects the deep-rooted relations, noting the development of the Bahraini-UK relations. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister heals the UK supporting stances of Bahrain and affirmed the Kingdom's support of bilateral relations to achieve common interests at all levels. His Royal Highness reviewed with the Minister a number of regional and international developments. The Minister of State expressed his country's pride in the strong relations between the two kingdoms and praised His Royal Highness's keenness to bolster Bahraini-UK cooperation, stressing his country's interest in the security and stability of the region. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, today received the State of Kuwait's Minister of Finance, Dr. Naya Fala Al Hajraf, at Rifa Palace. Kuwait's Minister of Finance conveyed remarks by the Emir of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Suba Al Ahmed Al Jaba Al Suba, outlining the strength of Bahraini Kuwaiti bilateral relations. 
His Royal Highness and Kuwait's Minister of Finance highlighted the long-standing ties between Bahrain and Kuwait, which continue to extend joint collaboration across all levels. His Royal Highness and Kuwait's Minister of Finance also highlighted both countries' efforts in accelerating sustainable development, while stressing the crucial role His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the Emir of Kuwait play in advancing shared strategic and economic interests. Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa and Minister of Finance Sheikh Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa also attended the meeting. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, today met the United Kingdom's Minister of State for the Armed Forces, Mark Lancaster, at Rifa Palace. <coughs> His Royal Highness underscored the two kingdoms' strong and multifaceted partnership across various sectors, highlighting long-standing defence ties as a cornerstone of bilateral relations. His Royal Highness reiterated Bahrain's commitment to supporting regional security efforts and underscored the important role of the United Kingdom plays in countering transnational terrorism and extremism and pose a threat to all. His Royal Highness concluded by reaffirming his support and the strong and enduring strategic partnership which is based on shared interests and commitments to the stability and prosperity of both kingdoms. The Minister of Defence Affairs, Major General Yosef bin Ahmed bin Hussein al Zalama also attended the meeting. The Commander-in-Chief of the Bahrain Defence Force, the BDF, Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, received today the UK Minister of State for the Armed Forces, Mark Lancaster, in the presence of the Minister of Defence Affairs, Lieutenant General Yusuf bin Ahmed Al Jalama, and the Chief of Staff, Lieutenant General Diab bin Saga Al Nawemi. The BDF Commander-in-Chief welcomed the UK Minister of State for Armed Forces and welcomed the guests, healing the deep historic relations between Bahrain and the United Kingdom. He noted the bilateral cooperation in the military field. The guests were briefed on the BDF's history and the establishment of various military units, as well as the accomplishments in the prosperous era of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. Defence Ministry Under Secretary Major General Sheikh Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa and the Director of the BDF General Commander Headquarters, Major General Hassan Mohammed Saad, Inspector General Major General Abdul Hassan Al Nawemi, and senior BDF officers also attended from the Bahraini side. Lieutenant General Sir John Lorimer, UK Defence Senior Advisor for the Middle East, and UK Ambassador to Bahrain Simon Martin attended from the UK side. His Majesty the King's Representative for Charity and Youth Affairs and Royal Guard Commander Brigadier General Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa received yesterday the UK Minister of State for the Armed Forces, Mark Lancaster, and his accompanying delegation in the presence of Royal Guard Special Force Commander Major His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa. During the meeting, Sheikh Nasser welcomed the Minister and lauded the relations linking Bahrain and the United Kingdom in all fields, especially in the military field. He asserted the importance of increasing joint coordination for the interests of both friendly countries. The two sides also reviewed the existing military cooperation and coordination between Bahrain and the UK, in addition to discussing issues of mutual interest. Egyptian President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi opened the first Arab Forum for Schools for Special Needs and Integration, held in Egypt, with the participation of students with special needs from a number of Arab countries. Bahrain's delegation to the forum, led by Education Minister Dr. Majid bin Ali al included a number of officials and students with special needs. President al-Sisi, in his speech, asserted his country's interest in integrating students with special needs in schools and development projects. The President also toured the exhibition held in the sidelines of the forum. While visiting Bahrain's pavilion, President al-Sisi was welcomed by Education Minister Dr. al Nawemi he conveyed to him the greetings and appreciation of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and his wishes of success in the forum. A commemorative painting in which a blind student took part using the Braille system and themed Together Through Thick and Thin was presented to the Egyptian president. The painting embodied the solid relations between the two brotherly countries. President El Sisi expressed thanks to the blind student for the expressive painting. The Egyptian president requested the education minister to convey his greetings to His Majesty King Hamad, stressing the solid relations between the two countries in various fields, especially in education. In a statement, the Education Minister said, 
and that Bahrain's participation in the event is in line with the solid relations between the two brotherly countries, noting that the Arab Forum is an opportunity for Bahrain's Ministry of Education to highlight its services for students with special needs, in line with the directives of His Majesty the King. He also asserted Bahrain's commitment to all international conventions related to ensuring education for all, noting that Bahrain, as shown in UNESCO's report, ranked among the first category of countries that provided distinguished services for all students. The implementation of the directors of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Supreme Commander Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa to set a comprehensive plan to reduce traffic congestion and grant traffic flow on the main road in the Kingdom, the Ministry of Works, Municipality Affairs and Urban Planning, Engineer Issam bin Abdullah Khalaf said that the Ministry has completed the construction of an entrance from the Sheikh Issa bin Salman Causeway to Busatin. He added that the maximum capacity of this road will reach 1,800 vehicles per hour, which can reduce traffic by 40%. The project aims to highlight the efforts and directors of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince to develop quick and temporary solutions to ease the traffic jams and to the implementation of bigger development projects. The implementation of the directors of the Coordination Committee, chaired by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, the Ministry of Health is working on a project establishing a genomic analysis unit at Al Samaniya Medical Complex. An introductory workshop was held today under the patronage of the Minister of Health, Fekha bin Saeed Al Saleh, to develop a plan to start the project, which aims at protecting society from hereditary diseases. The workshop focused on the national strategy for the genomic project. It also reviewed the experience of Japan in this regard, as well as the role of Bahrain in the project. The heads of states and a host of political decision makers from around the world visited Bahrain's exhibition at the United Nations headquarters, organised by the King Hamad Global Centre for Peaceful Coexistence in cooperation with This is Bahrain. Visitors to the exhibition included US President Donald Trump, French President Emmanuel Macron, Egyptian President Abdel Fattah el-Sisi, British Prime Minister Theresa May, the UN General Secretary Antonio Guterres, and a number of foreign ministers and ambassadors from Europe, Asia and South America. Diplomats and religious clerics lauded Bahrain's success in promoting the culture of peaceful coexistence and tolerance between different doctrines. They affirmed that the success of the country stems from a royal determination to foster religious and cultural tolerance and coexistence. The chairman of the King Hamad Global Centre, Sheikh Khalid bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, described their organisation and participation as unique for its aim to show the world Bahrain's commitment to the UN approach regarding comprehensive and sustainable peace for all. He pointed out the great response to the exhibition in New York, which translates the royal vision concerning the international message on peaceful coexistence and tolerance. It's very true. Uh, indeed, uh, there is a strategic and very strong partnership between Egypt and Bahrain. I was fortunate and honored to be part of the delegation uh, that uh, visited Bahrain and uh, and here you can see here we are at the United Nations General Assembly where we are bonding together both countries are uh, showcasing their success stories and all the achievements made by uh, His His Highness uh, uh, the King of Bahrain and also His Excellency President Sisi and uh, as an Egyptian uh, Minister of Investment and International Cooperation I am very keen on, on also uh, strengthening the ties and the investment between both countries. Allow me first to congratulate the King Hamad Center for Coexistence uh, on his participation during the General Assembly uh, meetings 2018. The King Hamad Center has very similar uh, principles uh, that are in the UN Charter. So it's a natural home for King Hamad Center to be here in the UN where we uh, believe in peace, we believe in development, we believe in respect of nations to each other, we believe in rule of law, and we believe in human rights. Any king that gives the power to the people is a wise king. So that's why I applaud this amazing king who gives the power to the people. This amazing king is fighting for the people to have a choice to serve the God they want to serve. 
to believe what they want to believe. It's against human rights abuse. It's against child trafficking. That's why I'm urging all the people to listen, to support the king. This is very important uh, for the religion to be safe in the country. And uh, the people have the right, have the like, safety for their religion, be practice of safety. And uh, uh, because the religion is very important for some people so in the country, and uh, they want to freedom, have the guard to pray it, and a safety place to pray it, and uh, for their family, can afford them religion, and all the stuff. I think uh, if the king can provide the safety place for, for their people, I think all uh, the, the people will love this country and they have uh, freedom to practice their uh, religions. Certainly uh, all, every initiative, every effort uh, to respect uh, religious freedom, so the freedom of conscience, so as the freedom to worship in public or in private has to be commended. And I have heard and I have known that uh, Bahrain is, is, has certainly been promoting this and practicing this. So I think Bahrain, especially uh, uh, King Hamad, has to be recommended for that.